your dailies. Welcome back if you're uh, revisiting me here at Shacey Tarot. And if you're brand new, welcome to my channel. These are the dailies. I've already posted the weeklies. And for those of you that are interested, I started the yearly forecast, but I'm sorry I'm a bit behind. I haven't been able to do them all. If it's listed down below in the description box, that means that yours is already done. And I have done it for cancer. So definitely check that out. I will pin that down in the comment section as well as it will be available in the description box. So it's a full 12 months. Okay, so take advantage of that. It's really inexpensive. As well as there will be an extended reading, of course, to this reading. Also available down below if you're interested in that. If this feels like your story, that's fantastic. You'll definitely want to take advantage of that extended that will be available pretty much right away for you below. Okay, I do up, try and upload it immediately. So there'll be a notation if, if it was unable to process just yet. I will notify that. And that is as well as very inexpensive. A lot cheaper than a private reading. It is still a general reading. Remember that private readings are more geared towards your energy. So that also is in there. That Shacy.com. You can request a private reading. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now, in the extended, I pull a lot more cards, so I dig a lot deeper, but let's get started here. So I go more in the energy of the cards, and I do the signs. I will mention the signs for you, but to me, overall, it's about the energy in these cards. Now, remember, anything can happen right now. Things can happen weeks and months from now, so take it how it resonates for you and never force a reading to fit, okay? I really appreciate you being here. You're, you know, you guys clicking on the thumbs up and subscribing. It means a whole lot to me, and I really appreciate you being here and taking the time, so thank you so much. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. You have the Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and you have the Six of Cups. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you could be involved with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. The King of Pentacles is here, or somebody with strong earth in their chart. You have the Three of Cups. Cups are all about emotions. This is about possible celebration. Okay, or it could signify that a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo is celebrating a lot, perhaps, you know, drinking a lot. That could be, doesn't have to be. This could just mean that they're, you know, celebrating something. Now, with the Five of Swords, it could be that maybe they're celebrating that they're overcoming some difficult times. These guys have laid down their swords. This guy here is holding a sword upside down with a little smirk on his face. So, you know, it's quite possible that you're King of Pentacles here. And it could be female or male. does not matter. It's about the energy of the card. Okay, this king is very earthly, very grounded, normally very solid, very practical, very level-headed. Okay, they think with their head more than their heart overall, but they do have big hearts. But... They definitely are all into their pentacles, their money, their coins, and material wealth. To them, that is love. They need stability to feel love. They need to feel a stable environment. Okay? Now, they may be overcoming some difficult situations here, but they're winning. As you can see, these guys have laid down their swords, and he's standing there with a smirk, like, you know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And that could be a cause for celebration, quite possibly. And it could be that they're thinking about somebody from their past. Now, this is coming up an awful lot in the water signs uh, spreads. So this is all about thinking about somebody, you know, from the past that means a great deal to them or to you. Could be both of you. Okay. These cups are all filled with flowers. Okay. Now, it could just mean that it's a visitor from the past that means a lot to somebody, a close friend. Um, and we will know more as we go on. But somebody's feeling very nostalgic about somebody in, in their life. They're probably going to go revisit them from the past. Could be you, could be your love interest. Again, we're going to continue on. And Cups, again, is Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Let's clarify. Clarify the Three of Cups, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the Three of Cups, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, well, the chariot's here. This is action and change and forward movement. And this is your card, Cancer. So this is about a new journey. Sometimes it can even specify relocation. It is possible, okay? But most of all, it's about action, change, and movement. The chariot's here, trying to move someone forward. So it could be the king of pentacles are trying to move forward, perhaps to somebody from their past. Could be you. Or vice versa, take it how it resonates, okay? 
They may be celebrating the fact that there is change coming. Now, we're going to have to dig deeper to find out. Well, this wanted to jump out, so I'm going to take it. Okay, Seven of Cups. This is about a lot of choices and decisions to make. Quite often it can signify that somebody's so overwhelmed with choices. That's why this guy's arms are open here. He's like, oh boy, so many choices. Now, it could be choices in people. You know, a lot of readers say that this is a, you know, could be choices in, in people, in other conquests, in, you know, love interests. Um, it could be, yeah, because cups are about emotions. But I'm not seeing emotions in these cups. I'm seeing things. So me as a reader, I see this as they're focused on materialistic items. These are things in the cups. They're not people. They're not filled with love here. They're filled with things. Okay. So that's how I feel about it. Okay. So I feel like it's either your love interest or you are overwhelmed with choices and decisions to make. You know, there may be some investments or properties or business, however that resonates for you, that they're trying to make some decisions upon. And that just popped out on its own. Okay. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. Now, in the extended, we'll dig a lot deeper. With the dailies are shorter, the weeklies are longer. Those are already posted. If you want to go check out under your sign, you go under the playlist that I've got listed there. And your sign is there and all of the videos that follow. So the latest one will be there. And check that out. That's February uh, 1st to 7th, I think it is. Okay. These are the dailies. So they're going to be a little bit shorter. You can check out your weeklies if you want. Okay, let's check out the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please, for Cancer? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Okay. Ace of Wands. Okay, so this King of Pentacles, again, could be Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or somebody with strong earth in their chart, or somebody taking on the energy of being very grounded, solid, committed. Um, they're just, they're a very grounded person, okay? They believe in institution of marriage. They believe in commitment. They believe in stability. And they definitely believe in materialistic items to them that is being solid and grounded, okay? So it definitely could be an earth sign you're involved with. They have the Ace of Wands clarifying them. So this action change forward movement, or this could be you, Cancer, is they have a brand new beginning that they're meant to start here, handed from the universe. And it's choices and to create brand new things, a brand new life possibly for themselves. That includes, you know, could be love, could be a brand new business, whatever it is. It's a new romance. It can be a new business, a new job, a new project, anything that's brand new. It signifies a new beginning and it travel. It can indicate travel. Like I said, with the chariot action change forward movement, quite possibly a journey. And it could be a new journey to visit somebody from their past or somebody they feel they've known all their lives, okay? We're gonna clarify that and then we're gonna go to the extended. Clarify the Six of Cups, please. Woo-hoo, did you see that fly, Cancer? <laughs> okay, so for some reason there's been a bit of a delay in seeing someone from their past. They're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. They're waiting for money. You see, this is all about coins again. Again, strong earth energy. They're waiting for money, it appears here. Again, choices and decisions to make. Quite often, it could be about career and money if it's an earth sign. There's strong earth energy here. Or they have strong earth in their chart. They could be waiting for a new beginning, having all these choices to make, but there's been a delay. They're waiting for money perhaps to grow or money to come together before they can start overcoming some kind of conflicts. But that's winning. They look like they're winning in that. They're standing strong but they're having choices and decisions to make. And I'm feeling it's it's about, you know, money because that's what came up. All right, we're going to go to the extended. We're going to dig a lot deeper. I'm going to pull some of my brand new beautiful angel message cards here for you as well, of course, as my beautiful enchanted tarot, which I've had for about 25 years. They really jump out. They are so old, but they have all my energy in them, and they jump out faster than any other deck. So let's go ahead. If you feel like this is your story, that's awesome. Go ahead and click below. There's an arrow down there, and I appreciate you being here very much. Please, please hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me to be here. I definitely have been divinely guided here to do this for you, and I appreciate the opportunity. We will pull that card in the extended. I really appreciate the opportunity 
I'm definitely, a, you know, um, I haven't been able to put the tarot cards down for the last year and a half year, and I contribute it all to something that happened in my life. So I really appreciate you being here. If you'd like further notifications of my readings, that's also down below. If you're on mobile, there'll be a little bell there. You can hit that, and then anytime a new reading comes out, you will be notified. Thank you so much, Cancer. And for those of you this resonated for, I'll see you at the extended link down below, and we'll pull this card over. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.